Hey, what's up guys? Brad with Squared Away Every Day. And today we're gonna be talking about is the 4680 battery and all of the small little improvements coming to the Model Y actually that big of an improvement or is it just simply hype? Now behind me here, we don't have my Model Y performance. It's actually just my Model S Plaid. So we're gonna have to deal with that for the eye candy for today. I already forgot my memory card for the camera once and drove back to the house. And so I'm not doing it again so that I can go and get the Model Y performance. If you haven't had a chance yet, please go ahead and give me a like, give me a sub, and let's hop into it. Okay, so what's the biggest benefit that I'm seeing? Personally, this is all just my personal opinion. I'm just some guy on the internet, but what is the biggest improvement I'm seeing on that 4680 battery? And that is going to be the 10% weight reduction that we're seeing in the car's overall weight. That is going to be extreme. If you've ever driven in your car with one person, just you, and then you drive with four people in the car, you'll know the driving dynamics of the car are way different. The performance of the car is way different. And to say the least, a 500 pound weight reduction. And why I say that is because I think the Model Y is somewhere around 5,100 pounds. So I don't know if they're saying it's a 10% weight reduction on the overall vehicle weight or if it's just on the battery pack. I don't really know, but say it's anywhere from 250, 300 pounds to 500 pounds, that weight reduction is going to be very significant. So that is probably the biggest thing I'm excited about for the 4680 battery, and why? Well, because the driving characteristics, the driving dynamics of the cars are going to be better. And with that, you should have increased range and better power. So better zero to 60s, better acceleration, that kind of stuff, whatever you want to call it. Now let's talk about the actual increase in range that we're allegedly gonna be getting. This is all just alleged, we don't really know. Allegedly, we're supposed to be getting a 15%-ish increase in range on the new 4680 batteries, and that too is yay for that. Now, if we're looking at a 300 mile range already on let's say the performance model, and we're gonna bump up 15%, that's gonna be a 45 mile increase in range. Now you and I know that the Teslas don't get the range that they're saying they're going to get. I've never gotten 300 miles or even close to it. So let's say we're gonna get more like 30 miles of additional range in that new 4680 battery. That's awesome. Is it something to where it's like, I'm gonna go sell my Model Y so that I can get 30 miles extra of range? No, certainly not. Especially, I don't wanna be the first guy to get it off the line. Go ahead and check out my video. Uh, is it worth the wait to wait for the 4680 battery on your Model Y? You'll see my thoughts on that whole thing there. But anyway, I digress. Um, that's awesome. An extra 30 miles of range is going to be significant and that is a welcome addition to the car. Now, if you're somebody who's sitting there saying, hey, I have to have that extra 30 miles of range or it is a deal breaker for me, I can't own the car, I'm not gonna be able to get home unless I have that additional 30 miles of range. Well, I'm here to tell you, maybe the Teslas just yet are not the car for you. Maybe you should just be looking at an internal combustion engine vehicle because if you're really that skimpy on miles and you need that 30 miles of range, otherwise you're like dead in the water, ah, I don't know. I don't know if that's the right car for you. And then finally, it's going to have a more rigid structure. That's really nice too. Hopefully that means the car is actually gonna be safer, which again, yay for that. That's gonna be a huge improvement. So really when we're looking at the 4680 battery, we've got that 10% reduction in weight. I don't know if that's just specifically on the batteries, maybe so, probably so, or if that's on the vehicle in its entirety. We've got a 15% increase in range, which is awesome. And then we have a more uh, rigid or structural frame, which hopefully is gonna lend itself to being a safer vehicle. Now, if we move on to the, let's look at the AMD Ryzen chip. AMD Ryzen chip, that's gonna be pretty awesome. Is it gonna be like this great revelation for you if you've already owned a Model Y and you're running the Intel Atom uh, processor? No, it's not. And how do I know? Well, because this car back here, my Model S Plaid, has the AMD Ryzen chip in it, or however you wanna pronounce it. It has the AMD chip in it already. Is it a upgrade over the Intel Atom processor? Yes, it is. It's faster, specifically for stuff like Netflix and Hulu and, you know, the streaming services. It doesn't really make a big difference, though, when we're talking about streaming music. It doesn't make a big difference when we're talking about pulling up stuff on the map. So if you're somebody who doesn't watch Netflix or any of this other stuff, it's not gonna make that big of a difference to you. 
Okay, now one of the things I'm most excited about, which is really quite odd for the new 4680 Model Y update, is going to be the heated wipers. That is going to be so so nice, I'm gonna love that. And why is it a big deal, Brad? Why do we care about the heated wipers? Well, I will tell you, in the Model Y specifically, if you live in a snowy state, you know of the old windshield wiper flick on the windshield so that we can clear the ice off of it so that the windshield wipers can actually do their job when it's cold. Well, uh, when you go to do that in the Model Y, the hood keeps you from pulling up the windshield wiper all the way and slapping it down on the windshield, knocking off the ice. So to have the heated wipers is gonna be very uh, efficient and very effective for people like us that live in cold weather environments. And those of you that live in California and it's like 70 something all the time, hats off to you, I admire that and I hope to join you someday. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. Um, so yeah, the heated wipers are gonna be a big deal. I'm stoked about that. And then finally, probably the least interesting update that we've gotten. There's some other very small stuff too, but probably the most least interesting thing that we'll talk about today is going to be the 12 volt battery switching from a lead acid to a lithium ion battery. Now, the load that we put on these 12 volt batteries is actually very excessive in the Teslas. It's doing a lot of different things, um, like locking and unlocking your car. It has the, uh, I think it even handles the sentry mode and all that kind of stuff. So to have an upgrade from a lead acid to a lithium ion battery is a welcome addition in the car and I think that actually I don't to correct myself I don't think sentry mode runs off of that 12 volt but the 12 volt runs a lot of stuff and to clarify we're not talking about the battery that runs your car and fuels it so it can go we're talking about the 12 volt battery that fuels like your little accessories in the car that's what I'm talking about and a lithium-ion upgrade is going to be really really nice I actually killed the battery my 12 volt in my Model 3 Performance that I just sold actually. And was it that big of a deal? No, I just swapped the batteries out, but it's gonna be nice to have a little bit more reliable and uh, have a little bit more longevity out of that 12 volt battery. Now, if you haven't had a chance yet, please go ahead and give me a like, give me a sub, and we'll see you in the next one.